In order to derive results from data, you need to be data literate. Whether you're using the data or seeing the um, end results of the visualizations or anything like that, you need to be able to understand what you're looking at. The data is not going away. We're being with the interconnectivity that we have currently with cell phones and the internet and smart devices, the data is being collected whether we want to or not. We've, we've already bought into that data culture. Now we just need to use the data and make it work for us. Right now we're working for the data <laughs> is kind of how I look at it. So how do we make the data make our lives easier or make more sense of in not instead of just collecting the data about us, how can we make the data work for us? In Canada, it's been a, f a large focus for the last at least five or six years to ensure that the public has access to it. There's a Canadian open data portal um, that provides data from ag government agencies, so how, how public funds are being spent, um, what services are being offered, um, as well as research that is conducted within agencies and researchers in Canada. So that's not the only data portal, there are other data portals. So in order to be most effective, I think that it needs to be federated, that these open data portals need to be easier to access, um, that people need to be educated on where they are and how to find them. Media literacy has a lot to do with it as well. There's a lot of infographics and visualizations that are being used in media nowadays, and um, as well as social media that can easily be um, manipulated by people publishing that for malicious intent. And because it's published and because it's clean, people trust that information, but that's not always the case. So you need to have the skills to be able to critically evaluate whether that information, because the visualization and infographic are, are visualizations of the abstract data, you need to be able to critically analyze whether it's accurate, whether it's trustworthy, whether you need to ask more questions, um, because causation is not correlation. Just because something happens with something else doesn't mean it's caused by it. It just happens, and you, you need to know the difference to be able to ask the questions, because that's that tends to be one of the ones that people misunderstand.